Rugby Union is currently under the microscope surrounding tackle height and head injuries. Both the professional and amateur game could potentially see drastic change. The RFU recently introduced a new rule enforcing below the waist tackles only at grassroots level, a decision that didn't sit well with the rugby community. I doubt it would ever work in a professional game. I think once that does, if that did come in, I think it would kind of be the end of a professional game. You have some such highly skilled players who are able to offload the ball that I think it would completely... It, it would ruin the game. I mean, you, it, it would be impossible to stop teams. You know, what I mean, if it's certainly like for some teams, like New, teams in New Zealand, like they'll their whole game is getting through contact and offloading. If you're literally freeing up their arms, you've got to lock them up in order to to stop that offload. And if you can't do that, it's, it's going to be a be a long day at the office. Starting his career at local side Waterloo and now at Sale Sharks, Harper suggests measures are being taken to combat the issue. In terms of training, though, we've um, They've introduced these gum shields, which you have to wear, so compulsory. And basically, basically what they have in, they have like a, some a sensor in them, which um, traces G. So like all head impacts is like a trial scheme at the moment. So it's basically they're trying to gather that information to see what kind of G constitutes a concussion and all that kind of thing. So it's like a work in progress at the minute, but it's definitely something they're working towards to kind of have some actual measure and some science behind it. Concussion has always been part and parcel of the game. However, it is now treated as a more serious injury. I think because concussion is now more recognised as a as a clinical diagnosis and not just like a minor head injury, it's got real implications. That's why the standard of care and the ability to recognise it and the need to recognise it has gone up. Hence the I think the increase in number of diagnoses as well. Some believe the future of the sport could possibly be in serious doubt. I don't think too far is a thing. If you want to keep rugby as a sport, you're going to have to change it, um, definitely. And the reason people now tackle around the below the neck, below the, the shoulder level, is to try and prevent offloads, from what I can see. And that's, that's what rugby's become. What can be determined is that Rugby Union looks set for change. Finley Swift, Mersey Sport Live.